Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and thank each of you for being here in your service on behalf of our country. And to me, it's so clear that the primary function of the national government is to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves, and that's national defense. And so your service is more important than ever. And uh, putting that in the context, too, uh, what we're talking about is deterrence of peace through strength. And so uh, what you're doing uh, could not be more important. And I particularly appreciate military service. My, uh, I have four sons who have served in Egypt, Afghanistan, uh, and uh, Iraq. Uh, my Navy son, uh, uh, the benefit of military service uh, is so exciting. My uh, son served as a Navy doctor in Naples. I now have three grandchildren who speak perfectly Italian. Uh, so I look at military service as uh, opportunity uh, to serve, but opportunity for fulfilling, fulfilling and meaningful life. And so what you're doing, and I'm so happy to hear about retention being good, uh, Mr. Secretary, that's great. Uh, putting that in perspective, too, uh, I, your service today is more important than ever. Uh, it's been referred to uh, and bipartisan uh, with the uh, terminology uh, by uh, uh, Ranking Member Smith of uh, partnerships among uh, adversaries. Uh, the leadership that we have uh, with Chairman Mike Rogers, who stood up uh, against the dictators, and then your reference to authoritarians or autocrats against democracy. I like to phrase it as dictators with rule of gun who are uh, invading democracies with rule of law. This is not a war that we chose. This is a war that war criminal Putin chose on February 24, 2022, when he invaded Ukraine and conducted mass, mass murder. Uh, this is another uh, indication with the uh, invasion by Iran with its puppets of Hamas of Israel on October 7. And we need to do all we can to deter uh, the Chinese Communist Party from an invasion of the uh, terrific country of Taiwan. With all of this in mind, uh, over and over again, um, we should be uh, grateful. And I uh, am very happy, General Brown, that this week it's reported that finally, that uh, long-range attackers have been provided to the people of Ukraine to defend their country, uh, provided by Germany, the United Kingdom, and now the U.S. Additionally, I hope that cluster bombs are provided as quickly as possible. I, we have excess that need to be destroyed. I know a way to destroy them, and that is to send them to the people of Ukraine. It's been reported that war criminal Putin is jamming various precision munitions, causing lower accuracy rates for targeting than advertised. And it's very important that we uh, equip Ukraine with the latest technology. With F-16s being provided to Ukraine by the Netherlands and Denmark, will the department be considering to have joint air to service uh, standoff missiles to be more advanced precision fires of the F-16s in the delivery package to Ukraine? General Brown. Well, as we uh, bring on the F-16s, uh, it's the uh, uh, not only the airplanes, but it, uh, it's it's uh, the uh, training of the uh, uh, pilots, also training of the maintenance, but also bring sure we have the uh, weapon system to go with it, and that's part of the uh, the conversation we're having with the countries that are not only contributing uh, F-16s, but as part of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, there is an Air Force uh, coalition that the United States is part of, and that is the dialogue that uh, we're having to uh, not only uh, just get to the airplanes, but also get it to a full capability. And uh, a, a good news, uh, Secretary Austin, in December, Japan announced it's transferring Patriot interceptors back to the U.S. to replenish our stockpiles. Earlier this month, there was a joint statement with Japan. The administration wants to pursue co-development and co-production of missiles for forward deployment in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, this is great for the Indo-Pacific. It really follows, um, indeed, NATO coming together with now with uh, Sweden and uh, Finland. Uh, the uh, assistance uh, by the EU, of all people, uh, for the people of Ukraine, uh, for Europe, but with the Indo-Pacific, are there other examples of defense cooperation agreements that can be pursued to deter the dictators who seek to destroy Western civilization? Well, thanks, sir. As you know, uh, we have uh, done a lot of work to strengthen our relationship with the ROK. Uh, we have uh, promoted a uh, trilateral uh, relationship between the ROK, Japan, and us. You, uh, as you witnessed uh, months, months ago, the President held a summit here in the United States uh, with those, the leadership of those three countries. Uh, we've uh, strengthened our relationship with, with uh, the Philippines. And so now we're, we, we have the ability to operate uh, 
uh, alongside the, the Filipinos uh, in more sites in, in the Philippines. Uh, and three years ago, uh, the leadership uh, was, uh, was going to disinvite us uh, and, and not allow us to operate in the Philippines. But that my, relationship- Hey, Mr. Secretary, my time is up. But again, it's exciting to see countries come together that we have not before, uh, from the Philippines to uh, Sweden and Finland. Chairman, Thank you very much. Chairman, time expired.